Colorado Parks and Wildlife and Governor Polis are issuing a grant to help communities reduce the amount of bear interactions with the public. Our reporter Chris Guevara explains what this grant's about and the benefits that come along with it. Chris? Yes, well, as bears become more active in searching for food, uh, the chance of them inter the chance of us interacting with the bear increases. Now, last year in 2022, Governor Polis signed a House bill awarding $1 million to communities across the state to help lower the interaction of bears by providing funding for bear resistant trash cans to electric fencing and even outreach and education programs to residents. And again, as bears prepare for the hibernation for this upcoming winter, they're going to be searching for this food more frequently. More important to make sure that people are keeping your trash secured, keeping food attractive and secured so you're not attracting those bears. You're more likely to see bears this time of year since they're active for those 20 hours a day. Now, if you do encounter a bear, it's important to stand tall, make lots of noise, or even make yourself big to help scare that bear away. Reporting live here in Grand Junction, I'm Chris Guevara. Back to you, Hannah. All right. Thank